there is in the new version, um, what you're going to notice here, uh, if we take a look, for example, at these two that we're looking at. So look at the grid in this version of Dynamics 365. You can see when I go over and mouse over it, order type, everything is here, right? I can click on my invoice account. I've got different sorts and I've got different filters that I can apply to it. Well, guess what, guys? There's a new grid control coming. And what that means is that we can do some even cooler things with our grids. So in our new environment, in the spring release that's coming, now look at what happens when I hover over it. It's got this weird thing that pops up, right? So number one, being able to dynamically move around columns. Nice feature to have, right? You could kind of do that here as well. You'd have to right click, you'd have to go to personalize and you click on the move action. Well, this grid control has that capability out of the box. The other capability though, that's inside of the new grid control um, that I see a lot of people using is grouping capabilities. So for example, um, what you can do is you can right click on customer account. I can say group by this particular column, um, click on that grouping. And now just like within Excel, when I do my grouping, I can see I have 25 orders for this particular account. And what I can also do then from here is I can actually do totaling too. So if I decided to expose an amount field that was on here, um, so I could go ahead and add that onto here, I could then do totals by that group to do kind of those group totals that you have inside of Excel, right? So nice feature there. Um, the other capability then though, is that these views, so we, we were showing, this is called the React Grid. So we were showing, for example, if I go to my React Grid example that I already pre-set up inside of here, um, you can see all the different columns I've added into here and the amounts, uh, and then the totals that are related to it as well that can calculate for this. So this is just an example of one um, that has the accounts that are grouped as part of it, and then can have the amounts then as well that you can total by basically going over to that field, go to the totaling amount, and then total this column to be able to then get to those values that will then show up inside of here. And lastly, being able to save diff different looks and feels, right? So maybe I want it still uh, sorted by customer account that's inside of here. Um, let's say I wanna do a standard view to start off with. Um, I want to not group by this, so I can actually go ahead and uh, ungroup by it. I want it sorted by sales order number, um, we'll say descending. Um, I can save this view now, so I can save as my new view, example view and I can pin it as my default. So now when I actually access my sales orders, for example, when I go to all sales orders that we were looking at, my new view is being used for that, which means that you can personalize the columns that you have inside of here. As you could see before, I do not have an amount field on here, but when I change it to my grouped field, my React Grid example that I have, you're gonna see it go through and then change those columns too. So it really allows for you to slice your data, to add different columns, depending upon maybe you have a list that is general use for different examples. Um, you can go through and then define that as part of your setup as well. So it's a really handy feature to have.